Okay, next one, physics of flare. A lot of people ask me about this because a lot of people <laughs> want to learn flare. Now, I don't flare. You will never see me flare. I tried to juggle bean bags once and they broke, so I am not ever going to flare. But I needed to figure out what I'm going to do for physics of flare because I wanted to cover this topic. And I got this right off of the Flare Bartenders Association. Who flares? Anybody flare? I got any flare bartenders here? Okay, good, so you won't beat me up. Um, right after flare, don't try to flip bottles that are more than one quarter full. You can flare bottles that are full. You simply cannot put a 360 degree flip on them. Looks like a pretty solid statement right there. You cannot put a 360 degree flip on them. Okay. Well, what is causing the liquid to actually stay in the bottle when you flip it? It's called centripetal acceleration. So because I'm an engineer, I had to go and do the calculations and figure out what causes it and all that good stuff. And it turns out that the velocity is the key factor here. We probably all knew that. There's a minimum velocity that's required to keep the liquid in the bottle or in whatever container it is. So I went ahead and did a bunch of calculations and they ended up being really boring. And I said, you know, I did some graphs, maybe that'll make it a little more interesting. And I calculated minimum velocity for a constant mass and then minimum velocity for a constant diameter circle and still wasn't really doing it for me. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna try this demonstration. Who's seen or heard of the uh, spinning the bucket thing where you take a bucket full of water and you spin it? So here's the theory, is that you should be able to take a bucket full of water and spin it and the water is going to stay in the bucket. Probably everybody's heard of this, but not a lot of people have seen it. I've always wanted to try it. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have a chance to practice it, but I'm pretty confident this is going to work. So just kind of bear with me on this. Um, so I have a bucket of... I, <coughs> Hold on, I'm not finished. Okay, I have a bucket of water, and you can see that's way more than half full, right? Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> this is science, Dave. This is si <laughs> for real. That's what I get from you guys. Okay, fabulous. All right, no problem. I'm going to try this anyway. Um, so. You guys good over there? Actually, this is not a bad idea that you guys would think. Okay, so I'm going to try this. So bear with me. You verified there's water in this bucket, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see what we can do. Yeah, right. Now it gets interesting. Oh, my God, look at that. Now, right, so you don't need to clap. This is physics. This is not Anthony. The problem is stopping. That's the problem. Hey, hey that worked pretty good, right? Okay, go ahead. Water in the bucket, how high? Just so you guys can see, up to this line, right? Right up to here. So definitely not full, definitely more than one quarter full, just so you know. So why don't bartenders, when they flare, flip bottles that are more than one quarter full? It's the starting and stopping, folks. That was the hard part, right? It's the starting and stopping. Because you have to get the liquid up to that velocity. Until it's at that velocity, it's coming out of the bottle. So you gotta really flip fast. And if you have to flip it faster than, human, than the human being can react to it, faster than you can catch it, if that's the minimum velocity, you can't flare it. It's never gonna happen, right? So again, you can go ahead, and if you wanna check out what these numbers are, this one is for a full bottle, for a one meter diameter circle, what the minimum velocity is that's required. And you can see it gets up pretty quick, up above two meters per second, meters per second. That's from here to here in one second, that's pretty fast. All right, and then it stays pretty linear. And this is for constant one meter diameter circle, different fullnesses of the bottle, different masses of the bottle, all right? So that's our physics of flare.